guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new today's video is a little bit of a different video for me it's a cleaning video which I've started to do on my channel and I've gotten some really good response from that but this is more of a how-to video I get asked quite a bit about one why do I have light furniture in my living room and two how do I keep it clean and the answer is really simple and I'm actually going to show you how I clean my really light colored furniture. So we have pretty much light colored furniture throughout our living room and we just got a new couch like two months ago and we've always had leather couches since my husband and I have been together. We've always had leather. He has a leather recliner and then um, Several years ago when we lived in our old house, um, I did purchase two side chairs with ottomans to go just to kind of break up the monotony of the dark brown leather. Um, and they're more of like a linen material, a very like light natural colored fabric. And I really like them. I think that it brings a lot of lightness and brightness to the room. Now that we're in our new house, our living room is very open and it's very bright. Um, we have built-ins that you can see behind me that are very light. Our fireplace is pretty light. When we were looking at new furniture recently, we were back and forth between whether we wanted to get a leather sectional again or go with fabric. And my husband really wanted to try fabric and I was on board with it. Um, we found one that we really loved and it complements the two chairs that we have that are that really light linen colored material. Um, so people, I think, I guess, think that we're crazy for doing that because we have a toddler, a two-year-old who spills stuff everywhere, and we have a black cat and a black dog who shed like crazy. But honestly, it's really not that hard to keep clean, and I kind of like having the lighter fabric because it does help to brighten up the space. I still always will love dark leather furniture, and maybe someday we'll go back to that. We do still have my husband's little um, reclining chair that's leather. Um, but I do like how it brightens up the space and I like how you can see when there are stains on it or it's dirty so that you can clean it and take care of it right away and keep your furniture lasting a lot longer. So to clean this stuff, it is so easy. You probably already have the things on hand that you need and I'm going to show you how easy it is and um, how well it turns out. So let me show you what we're working with today. These guys right here are the ottomans that go to these two chairs right here. Um, and those are the two side chairs that I was referring to. Um, so here is our new couch that we really love, um, but it's light. And it obviously, like, my son has already gotten chalk on it. He's written on it with crayon. He spilled stuff on it. So it's, it's already gotten cleaned and you know it, it wipes up really well these guys are older the, the ottomans and they definitely show a lot more wear and tear on them because they get used the most this is kind of my son's little space where he plays he likes to color right here he likes to be right here because this is typically where we are we spend a majority of our time in the living room hanging out watching tv playing doing all of that so he oftentimes will have food on here and while it looks all nice and pristine from here, let's get a real close up look, shall we? Like I said, it looks pretty good from, you know, far away, but let's just, let's just look. Oh, you see this? That's pizza. There's crayon right there, probably some ketchup. I mean, there are... Uh, blue crayon right here. I mean, there's stains all over this thing, both of them. It's pretty disgusting. So I normally clean this like every week or as needed. Um, and I've been saving this so that I can show you how easy it cleans up. So yeah, here's the other side. You can see all of the wonderful stains. So Let's see how easy it is to clean. Um, so all you're gonna need to clean is some hot water with dish soap and I'm using my son's little Halloween bucket because it was just, 
sitting out because he's been playing with it. He's excited for Halloween and I thought, you know what? This is gonna be really easy to use. Um, so I put some dish soap in there and have hot, hot water. You're also gonna need some dish soap. This is just the palm olive. This is the lavender and lime. I love this dish soap. It smells so good and it works really well. Dawn also, of course, works really well. Um, and then you're going to need a towel or some sort of like cloth to clean and scrub with. And then you're going to need a mixture of peroxide and water. So this is mine. This is just a cute little spray bottle that I got from the dollar section at Target a long time ago. And I wrote on here peroxide because I also have one that I use for bleach. Um, but this is just one part peroxide and one part water. And peroxide is your best friend when it comes to stains. It doesn't matter if it's dark colored fabric or light colored fabric. Peroxide is one of the best things that you can do to get stains out. And I'm gonna show you how easy and how wonderful this stuff is. Okay, I know my head is kind of cut off, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so all you're gonna do is take your rag and get it nice and wet, and it's hot. Um, and then just drain, whoo, that's hot, the water out. So it already has the dish soap on it, but I always like to put a little bit extra on. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and sprinkle it on there. And then you're just gonna start scrubbing. So whatever piece of furniture that you're cleaning, if it's just a spot, then obviously you're just gonna treat that spot. But because I'm cleaning these entire ottomans, all the sides, front, back, all of that, top, bottom, I'm gonna scrub the whole thing. So this is gonna take me a little bit longer just because I'm doing both and I'm doing the whole thing. But ideally, these will be, this method will be used for spot cleaning, okay? So you're just gonna scrub.
that's all you do for right now, but you can already tell a difference. I mean, I know they're wet, but you can definitely see that the stains are coming out and Whew, that's a workout. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Uh, did you see how easy that was? It was super easy. Um, but now I'm like sweating and hot and oh. Um, anyways, I'm gonna let these dry and I'm gonna just go about doing the rest of what I need to do for today. And after they're dry, I will come back and show you what they look like so you can see how great they look compared to what they look like at the beginning of this video. Okay guys, it is the next morning and I wanted to show you how the ottomans turned out. Excuse this, I've been cleaning and I haven't showered or done anything to myself yet. So, um, But I wanted to show you first thing before my son destroys them again. You can see how great they look. I'm going to move the tray so you can see it as well um, underneath. And I mean... Gunner's sleeping right now, so the spots are gone. So if you move the tray, you can see how great it turned out just from using the dish soap. And honestly, guys, that peroxide is really the key component to making everything look clean again. So thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you found this video to be helpful um especially if you have lighter colored furniture or thinking about getting lighter colored furniture um and if you have tried this method or if you use this method definitely leave it in the comments below so that others can see that it really truly works i mean obviously you saw firsthand right here um but you know it's always nice to hear from other people what works for them as well or if you have other ideas and suggestions definitely leave it in the comments below but please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful if you want to continue seeing more videos like this and um, if you are new to my channel I would love to have you here and subscribe and um, yeah I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>